Well, hi everybody. Usually this is where I say hi to my nuggets, but this is more than just to my nuggets. This is going to be a message to pretty much the whole Atlantic provinces because it, it involves all of you, but mostly to people down here in, you know, Moncton Review Diet area. Some of you have probably seen my face around here, heard some of my sometimes unpopular opinions about things. But for those of you who don't know, who've never seen or heard me before, my name's Sean and I do run this, not really a not-for-profit because I don't make any money, but it's a community organization called No Holds Barred where, where I try to help people struggling with, you know, disabilities, either they be physical, uh, mental, even emotional support stuff, and as well on tips and tricks on how to live healthy as much as you can on a very low fixed income budget. I used to get a lot of crap from people in the Moncton area because I'm on disability and they did not think that I deserved to be on it. That subject is closed for debate. However, it hurts my feelings when I see people out there struggling and I want to help them as much as I can. So when that person posted, I think it was Friday night or Saturday, that they had had difficulties in a home sense store or winners. I don't remember which one it was. But it was a TJ Maxx owned stores. Because TJ Maxx owns Home Sense and Winners and Marshalls and a few other, but those are the three we have here. But they had a hard time, you know, getting around because they didn't have any, you know, wheelchairs available. And then for I know that person's erased their post and I, I hope it's not because they're feeling ashamed or bad. Because part of what they were saying in there was that they felt ashamed that they had to rely on help. And that's one of the things that I stand for here with No Holds Barred is that people with any kind of disabilities, whether seen or not, because most of my disabilities, you cannot see them. The fact that I'm almost legally blind, I'm legally blind in my right eye, even with glasses. My left one is still compensating, so I'm not quite legally blind yet, but it's getting there. We've known for a very long time that I was eventually going to be going blind. So that's just one of the few things that I go through. Another thing that I go through, because I talk about it all the time, because there's other people out there that struggle too and they don't get the help and some of them don't necessarily want to talk about it. It's There's a stigma with mental health and I get it. That's why I don't have very high likes and followers because I don't care if you publicly like or follow anything that I do. I have analytics and I can see that I have about 10,000 people that come and visit about every single day. So for all of you out there who might actually know who I am but never publicly clicked and came by and come visit, thanks and hi again. For those of you who are new, never heard of me, don't know what I'm about, feel free to check out the page, there's an Instagram, there's a YouTube, all those kinds of things. And if you don't want to publicly like anything, I don't care. I'm cool with that. I'm not here to make money. I'm just here to help people. For me, helping people isn't necessarily going out into the community and feeding people because that's not something that I have resources to do. I do have resources though when it comes to like fighting for things that you should get if you have some kind of disability, whether it's through you know the federal or the provincial government. I've been through it all. I've called a few of them out on their BS because they aren't always up to par, but that's still not the point. The point is that when I read that post and the person was talking about feeling ashamed that they needed some kind of help to get around and that they were, you know, so upset that they had, yes, that is one of the steps because it's the same steps to accept that someone has passed away or whatnot, to accept that your life is going to change. And it's really, really hard and I've been through all those steps and I totally understand. And one of the things that I do with No Holds Barred, even though I don't usually publicly announce when I help someone, this is, I think, the first time I'm publicly announcing that I'm helping someone. Because it's nobody else's business if I help someone or not, right? Just me and that person. But this is something I think that the world, or our world, needs to hear. Maybe the whole world. I don't know. I was not okay with the fact that a company that I promote a lot and that I go to a lot and I have a business relationship with, which is Winners and Marshalls. Because if you scroll through my Instagram, you will see me taking pictures, usually of makeup, okay, whatever. The, so there's usually pictures of them 
with the lower price. And I do have a lot of people that inbox, I'm like, thanks for taking a picture of that certain thing I didn't know was available. You know, my teenager's been asking for something like that, but I just can't swing the price. But it's a thing, you know, again, people don't have to publicly like or say anything, but I do have support and I thank every single one of you. So that gave me the opportunity to, again, have this voice, because it took me a long time to find my voice. Again, there was a time in the beginning before No Holds Barred existed where most of Moncton liked to tell me that I wasn't worth the air they're breathing. Oh, trust me, I, I got inboxes telling me to go kill myself because I didn't deserve to anything. Just because you can't see a disability doesn't mean it's not there, and my disabilities and what they are and what they aren't are not for debate. But I've been through it all, so I totally understand that other person where they're talking about how they felt ashamed that they needed to ask for help. Because in this city, when you ask for help, you get two responses. Either people are giving you everything they have because there's so many people out there with kind hearts and open hearts. And then there's everybody else that sit back and think, well, how come I can't have things for free? Those people, they're few and far between, but their voices are so loud that they really, really are hurtful and they scare a lot of people. So I don't want people to feel that way at all. And in this case, I had something that I could do. The fact that I have a business relationship with Winners and Marshalls, they know who I am. It's not a surprise when I said, you know, this is who I am, this is what I do. I mean, they did put me on hold to check things out, but they came back and I was like, yeah, yeah, we know, what's up? Um, they were aware of my tweet because it started with a tweet. I was actually going to send an Instagram to them today, but I didn't have to because they answered back my tweet about the fact that there's only one wheelchair available in all three of their stores in our town. There's one in the Winners, but there isn't one in the Home Sense, and there isn't one in Marshalls. And that is a huge disadvantage. And I was very upset about that. So I spoke to a certain person. We talked about it. Now, I explained a little bit of the geography when it comes to Moncton, because, I mean, they're a huge corporation. And a lot of people tend to forget that there's a whole part of Canada east of Montreal. You know, we're forgotten. I mean, I think you all know that. You kind of forget about us. But when it comes to being Moncton, we are the hub of everything. It's about a four or five hour drive in every single direction. So a lot of people come to Moncton. That was also the reason why we were the only city in North America to both have a Cabela's and a Bass Pro Shop in the same city. Then they bought each other out. But it doesn't matter. Like, even Edmonton and Calgary don't have both of them in the same city. But we did. Because we have the influx of everybody from everywhere. So, I don't think they were aware of how much need there actually was to help, you know, people who have a hard time moving around in their stores. So, they did listen. And at the time, they're like, look, we don't have enough money to, you know, buy a wheelchair. Okay, yeah, that part, I'm still a little bit like, really? Until this particular incident, I don't think that TJ Maxx itself was aware of how many people in this area, or people come out of town to come into this area to shop, that really have mobility issues. And they did tell me that there was somebody else that had called about this exact same issue, so I'm not too sure who that person is, but whoever you are, good for you. Thanks. It helps to have more than one person say the same thing. It kind of makes it think in the back of their head so much. Okay, I'm getting to the point, all right? I promise. This is what they're prepared to do. If you are planning on going to shop at a HomeSense, Marshalls, or Winners, in Moncton, in New Brunswick, call them at least a day before. I know it's a little bit of planning, but I do know that a lot of people that shop at those stores come in from other, you know, they come in front of town. You come to Moncton for the day to shop. Call the store ahead of time. And this is something that that person was going to send with the memo to every manager of every store. So this is something starting tomorrow will be available. Yep, starting tomorrow, because the email was going to be sent out. It's probably already sent out by now, because it's like 2 in the afternoon. Call the store ahead of time and just let them know, I'm going to be in town at your store tomorrow. Don't have to give them a specific time. Just be like, I'm going to be there tomorrow. Or you can call on somebody else's behalf, like if your significant other or someone that helps you, your daughter, your mother, whatever, case may be. Then just call and say, look, we plan on going into shopping into your Winner's Home Sensor Marshall store tomorrow or in two days, whatever. Just let them know the day. And we are going to need a wheelchair. 
because somebody needs it. You don't need to explain it more than that. It can be because they broke their foot, they sprained their ankle, because they have some kind of disease where they have a hard time getting around. There's no explanation needed. All you need to do is let the manager know or the customer service person that answers the phone. We need a wheelchair on this specific date because we are going to your store. Once you let them know that, they are going to hang up with you and they are going to call and they are going to have one reserved for you on that specific day. It's going to be in the store all day. So you don't have to worry about being there at a certain time. It's going to be there for the entire day. You can just go down to the customer service and be like, hey, look, we called yesterday a few days ago. We need a wheelchair. Is it available? They'll pull it out. If you need to like wheel it outside to help the person in it and all that kind of stuff, that is perfectly fine. Just as long, you know, just don't break it. I mean, I don't know. I know it's common sense. You think, right? But my other message to people who like to buy cosmetics at Marshalls and Winners. Stop putting your fingers in the product. I'm not kidding. I've done a video about this before. I've said it before. If you guys keep sticking your fingers in there, they can't sell that. Once there is a fingerprint in any kind of cosmetics and they notice it, it's considered contaminated and they are not allowed to sell it as per Canadian health and safety laws. They have to throw that out. Now, if they keep throwing out $300 worth of stuff every week because people put their fingers in the product, we are no longer going to be able to have high name brand things at like 80% of the cost because I can't afford to buy stuff at 80 bucks for the makeup because it's makeup. Like, why would you pay 80 bucks? But I will pay 12 and I like getting it at 12. And there's a lot of other people out there that do as well. So get your fingers out of the product. All right, sorry. Side note, it's important. I gotta throw it in there. Again, we have a relationship, a working relationship, and that's how that works. I help them out, they're gonna help us out. So when it comes down to needing a wheelchair, needing something to get around, needing help for anything, just call the store at least one day ahead of time to let them know that you're going to be there on a specific day and you're going to need a wheelchair. They are going to make sure that there is one available for you on that day. Again, you don't have to give them a time. It's a whole day. You have the whole, you know, nine to five or, no, they're open more than that. Eh? Nine to nine. I, I don't know what the store hours are, but that's me. All right. I get around. I have someone that helps me to make sure that I don't bump into things. Sometimes I still do. And sometimes I bump into people. If I've ever bumped into you in public, I'm, I'm really sorry. I usually have a backpack and earphones to drown out the anxiety. <sighs> All right, so I've babbled on for long enough. I do have to edit this before I put it up there because trust me, I, I messed up like five or six times. But the conclusion is that they are going to have a wheelchair available as long as you call at least one day ahead of time. And, and, it's a big and at the end. If they realize that it is needed more than they think because in their mind, they're sitting in head offices and they have no idea of what happens east of Montreal. Again, they've got no clue. Once they realize that people are going to be calling for the wheelchair to be reserved, you know, enough times, they'll spend the money and buy one and it will always be there. They, they did say that, you know, but they just don't believe that it's going to be in demand that much because nobody's ever really asked for it before. So whoever called besides me, thank you. The more voices we put out there, the more we can get things done. So with that, it's going to sound strange, but I don't want to be famous. And that's a whole other story for another whole other day. But we are on the way to getting things done. And I hope that this is satisfactory for people for now. So thanks everyone for tuning in, for listening. Again, you can visit my stuff. You can if you don't want to. Whatever, do what you want. It doesn't matter to me. But with this particular message, I thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to use the voice and use this platform that I have here and be like, yo, winners, if you don't start treating people right, I ain't promoting you no more. And my money, it can go other places and everybody else's money can go other places. Because when you hit them where it hurts in their bank account, they start listening. Wow. I just want to thank everybody again. No holds barred if you don't know about it. You can check it out if you do know. I've only been doing this publicly for a year now. 
and it's grown exponentially. It's going in so many good directions. So for all of you out there who are coming in and visiting your part of that 10,000 and then come back every day and, and look and do stuff but don't publicly say anything, thank you. Thank you so much for letting me be able to do this as my job. I love every single one of you out there. I love all the ones that I've never met. I'm just the type of person that cares when somebody else is hurt and somebody else is in need of stuff. So again, you're free to check everything out. If you have any ideas, you got any questions, send them my way. I'll look at them. If you got something not nice to say to me, say it. I've heard it all. Doesn't matter. I've heard it all. Go ahead. My point is that I want to thank everyone for letting me be able, for giving me the chance because by coming back and giving me those analytics in the background, winners stood up and listened and said, uh-oh. And now things are going to get done. And it's not because I'm more special of a person. And it's not because I mean more than any of you do. It's just called the power of social media. And if I can use it for good, I will. And I plan to always use it for good things. And you can check me on that at any time. So with that, I'm going to thank every single one of you. I hope that this is a good answer to your problem. I forget the person's name and I do realize that that was removed. Um, that whoever that person is, you can contact me privately if I said something you know, public that you didn't like. I'm, I'm sorry, didn't do on purpose for that. But again, I hope that this is a satisfactory answer and at least, you know, meet in the middle kind of a thing. Um, for me it is because understanding how huge of a company this is it really is. I mean, I have other things that I know about the company that I just don't share. But I just hope that this makes things better. And for that, I thank you all and I wish you a very good rest of the week.